Adam Egit tells me about the documentary. I did not know about the documentary. I just knew Ron said, yeah, cult owned it. I'm like, oh, cult. Yeah, whatever. No, normal stuff. Yeah. yeah. Bunch of flower people. They probably did yoga and grew squash. No. No, no, no. no. There's a lot of butt fucking Dudes were getting what? Dudes were getting, they were getting hypnotized and fucked, and then they had to pay. They had to pay for the therapy. So he'd give them therapy, they'd have to pay 50 bucks, and then he would fuck them. <laughs> the idea of did it work? <laughs> oh yeah, for, ah. for the guy. Yeah, he was, that's no, the I'm thing. For the patients. That's the thing about the documentary that's wild. This guy was a legitimate hypnotist, right? And he had these people convinced that he could give them this thing called the knowing. And the knowing was he would like place his hands on you. It would have to be the right time, the yeah, right moment. Yeah. But these people to this day were saying it's the most amazing moment of their life. It was pure ecstasy. They connected to God. Like he. Through the power of suggestion, yeah. when he put his hands on them, they really did experience that thing. So he really did have that power. Whoa. He really, really actually did. If you're a gullible person who's likely mm. to join a cult in the first place, you're kind of a, yeah. su kind of a sucker. You're, you're not skeptical. You believe this. And then you find yourself in the woods, and you're on your knees, and this guy is <laughs> over you, and he puts his hands on your, your, your temples, yeah. and they would just go into full bliss. And it's wild because it's in the movie. And it doesn't look like they're faking it. It looks like they're having this wild, transcendent experience. Like someone just gives them a full-on mushroom trip. Just fucking whop. Just hits them with a giant dose of acid. Damn. And they're just like, oh. And then they, and get they talk about it afterwards. Even they're talking shit about him. Even yeah, like afterwards, like 20 years later when they're talking shit about him. They talk about him. They believed in him so much. Yeah, he was yoked. Bro, this, <laughs> yeah, he guys, was beautiful. Crazy. He was beautiful. He had a six-pack. He was a yoga instructor. See, he would give them this thing, man. He would touch them in the head. And by the way, some of them, he would hold it back from them. He wouldn't give it to them. Oh, no, no, you're off. not ready. He'd like, no, I'm ready. And so they'd be complaining for years. He'd be like, no, you I'm are not ready. It. Oh, man. Yo, Show that again. Show no. that again. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying oh. to freak people's mouths, bro. Yo. Look at the side, the way he's tossed it sideways. Oh, I lost yeah, it. So that's now, nice, this is, this is, by the way, this is later in life when he's getting a little creepy looking. So he starts getting a bunch of plastic surgery and weird shit to his face, and yeah. his body kind of falls apart. But that was him dancing. That was him dancing at the One World Theater. What? Which was the place that I was going to buy. <laughs> <laughs> he, had, he had them build a theater so he could dance in front of them. I mean, can you imagine seeing that guy and not hysterically laughing? <laughs> like, well, as he got older, like, he just started looking like real weird, man. Like real weird. Like, look at him. <laughs> yeah. But when he was young, he was beautiful. So that's the, the torment of youthful beauty. You get older, it's fucking, you become a monster. Yeah, but even when he was young, it'd still be like, if I saw a guy like throw yeah. a fruit <laughs> in some guy's mouth, I'm like, I'm out. I I'm bet out he started the throwing project. the fruit later in life. <laughs> yeah, he started getting I a little cocky. I bet he confident. got a little cocky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. he have been running that call for like, a yeah, couple of decades. That. That's older version of the dude. Changed yeah, his true. name twice. That fucking it's, hog, though, know, dude. What's this guy? He's like a Clydesdale. He's been stuffing in <laughs> all those guy's butts. Problem. Look at all those hungry mouths behind him. Oh, look at him, dude. Yeah, look at that. Look at the other guy. The guy, the other the guy back was, like, well, that's the documentary uh, series Sasquatch. Really? Did you ever that watch was that? nice. No. Yeah. Very. That good. was cool. Yeah. Very good documentary series. It's about they they attributed a murder to Bigfoot. They said Bigfoot oh. kills. <laughs> That makes sense. Dude. Which is like, fucking Bigfoot, dude. You imagine how high Boy. you have to be? Dude, <laughs> just be like, oh, fuck. Bro, Bigfoot killed oh, that cartel Sasquatch guy. Sasquatch broke in and killed all the cartel guys. That was nuts. <laughs> so it was so remote and so lawless that guys would come in and steal people's crops. and They'd, they'd rob oh, yeah. people and yeah. shoot people. And so it was like, these guys started off as hippies, and then it became a business. That has yeah, to be man. how every... Like Loch Ness Monster, Sasquatch, every <laughs> single monster was definitely just a guy killing a guy and be like, fucking <laughs> Chupacabra came out of nowhere. Back in the day. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Before DNA yeah, evidence, you know people believe in here? monsters. Yeah. Sure, yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. Also, so if you leave someone's body in the woods, like where there's like wild yeah. pigs and animals, they're going to eat that they'll body watch quick. Yeah, yeah. Watch it up. All you have to do is leave the body for 24 hours. And something's eating it. A coyote's going to eat it. I don't remember if we talked about this. Bro, no, 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 I haven't this seen this shit one. This shit was great. so funny. Love has won. The cult of Mother God. So that's one of the rare cults run by a lady, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, we we watched some of this. Yeah, how was it? It it's is awesome. so funny. There's a dude that shows up and just <laughs> dominates the cult. Like A dude does? A dude a takes dude over? A dude shows up and just ruins everything. There he was. 
Yeah, she was so fucking he like, was, there he is. He was the boyfriend. Oh, he's a meth, yeah. he's a meth of head. Of course. Yeah. He's a meth head? Yep. Yeah, he's Amazing. like, gets out of prison or whatever, goes to this cult. Amazing. He's like, he said he was out raking leaves with all the community, and he just put his rake down and was like, I run this. Wow. And he just immediately started dominating everybody. Oh, no. Making them listen to heavy metal? Dude, he'd put heavy metal on and be like, this is power. I'm power. <laughs> yeah, the, oh, my God. Like, a dude would get to fuck this lady. And then he'd be like he'd be father, father God. God, and then yeah. this like so she had like three father gods, and that the meth head dude came through and discovering just shut a down. mummified body laying in an enshrined yeah, queen size bed uh, wrapped in a sleeping bag decorated with Christmas lights. They believed <gasps> silver. Uh, what's it called? What type Colloidal of silver? silver? Colloidal silver. They were like, that's gonna s solve this. So they were just crushing this lady with silver while she was an alcoholic. Oh my god. <laughs> and she started turning blue. As a 19 billion year old deity, Carlson claimed she could cure cancer while also drinking herself into oblivion every night. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what a wild Dude, lady. Wait till you see. Right, what so a wild she's got, lady. Bro, I'm watching that tonight. She's got the it's galactics. Good. She's got, she channels, oh, no, she channels her deity. I'm it, writing this down then. I'm going to yes. set a reminder to watch it. It's so tonight. funny. Very funny. She Mother channels, love, right? Love, uh, love, love has it, one. Love has one. Love she, has one. She channels her. Uh, they're called the Galactics. It's a, it's a collection of people that, I fucking who knows. They're they have advisors, spaceships. Yeah. They have spaceships. They're gonna pick her up. Uh, the Galactics are really. It's Robin Williams, and Donald Trump, who's still alive. They love Trump, which is so funny. <laughs> they do love Trump. And like she's like, uh, anytime she gets hammered, she's like, Robin Williams is channeling himself through me. <laughs> That's why I'm being <laughs> mean to everybody. She just get she no, she just get hammered and be like, fuck you, bitch, clean up all my shit. Then the next day, be like, damn, Robin Williams was crazy last night. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> it's hilarious. The best. Then she starts taking silver, and her cult believes her so much that when she starts to be like, I don't know, guys, I think the silver might be killing me. They're like, no, nah, the silver's good. You're God. She's like, I'm not God. I'm fucking hammered. <laughs> She's like, I've been hammered for 20 years. Is this silver? Is that the same stuff that made that guy turn blue? Yeah. Remember he was on Oprah? This is what happened. Yeah. Did she turn blue, blue as well? She turns blue at the end. Oh, boy. Dude. What did she look like at the end? Oh. That. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's she so wasn't weird. that old, right? She was attractive, dude. Show her before. She was hot. Uh, oh, the silver. The colonial wow. silver. Uh, LinkedIn. <laughs> to LinkedIn. Glad to see your business is doing well. Yeah, it just became a business where they, the money guy is hilarious in it. So she oh, was yeah. running it for a while until the method came along. She was so hot. McDonald's yeah. manager to call theater. Wow, she was a McDonald's manager. Yeah, she did it. Hey, you can do it in this country. Yeah. If you have a good idea and you really work hard, you can. You, you can, can die from rum and silver like a pirate. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> hey, woman. Since your man ain't got no heart, what you going to my apartment tonight? I'll show you a real man. There you what? Go. What? Fuck you. Hey, woman. Since your man ain't got no heart, what you going to my apartment tonight? I'll show you a real man. There you what? go. What? What? Fuck you.